In this lecture, we're going to start to make our application a bit more reusable by storing the setup and punchline of our joke as properties on our component class instead of hard coded in the HTML. By the end of this lecture, you will understand classes in more detail, how to define them and how to use them. And you'll know what is string interpolation and the moustache syntax. So in the previous lecture, we created our first Angular application, a very simple one with only one component called joke component with a tag of joke. Now, whenever we want to display that joke in our application, we simply add the tag joke in our HTML, but it's not very reusable. It just shows the same joke over and over again. A more reusable joke component would be one where the developer can use different jokes. So to support this, let's go back into our code. Let's just stop it from running. I want to go into my joke component class and I'm going to add some properties to our class. What this is saying is that our class has two properties, setup and punchline. So there are some new syntax here, some TypeScript only syntax. It's this colon string. Now this is something called a type and it's a core part of TypeScript. Something you probably are not used to if you've never worked with typed languages before. So we're going to discuss types in more detail in the next section. But in summary, if we ever try to make these properties hold anything other than a string, TypeScript will throw an error. So remember I said that classes are blueprints for objects, or in other words, instructions for how to create an object. To actually create an object of a class, we use the new keyword like so. So if I wanted to create an object using the joke component class as a template, I would type let joke equal new joke component. Let is a new ES6 keyword, and again, we'll cover that in the next section. But for now, assume it's like var. Joke is an object created using the joke component class. Another word for an object created using a class is a class instance, or just instance. And since we've added some properties to our joke component class, the instance that's created from that class also has those properties. So if we really did try to run the above code, we would see that nothing actually gets printed out to the console. That's because although the joke instance has the setup and punchline properties, we haven't set them to be any value yet. They are blank. With classes, how we initialize properties when we instantiate an object is via a special class function called a constructor. So now when we instantiate the joke instance using the joke component class, we call the constructor function, and this initializes the setup and punchline properties. So now if we ran this code, we would see what did the cheese say when it looked in the mirror and Halloumi printed to the console. So we don't actually create any instances of the joke component. Angular does this for us whenever it finds a tag, a matching tag in the HTML. So actually, we can just delete those. So now the setup and punchline are stored on properties of our joke component, but we actually want those setup and punchlines to be output in the template HTML. So we can do that in the template by using this special double curly braces syntax. It's also known as the mustache syntax because, well, one of these looks like a mustache on the side. So the curly brackets, the mustaches, contain JavaScript which is run by Angular and the output inserted into the HTML. So if we put one plus one inside these curly brackets and I hit run, 
we see two printed to the screen because one plus one in JavaScript equals two. But as well as just being able to write generic JavaScript, the template knows about the joke component class it's attached to. So in between these curly braces, we can also read properties or even call functions on our joke component and have the output inserted into the HTML. But we just want to display the values of the setup and punchline properties. So we just use those. And now again, you can see the same joke printed to the screen. However, the joke itself isn't hard coded in the HTML anymore. Now the setup and punchline are stored as properties on our joke component. Another word for the use of this mustache syntax is string interpolation. And now when we rerun our application, we're still seeing the same joke, but the joke, the setup and punchline, it isn't hard coded into our template anymore. The setup and punchline are actually properties on our joke component. So in summary, we've explained how a class is a blueprint for an object. We can create a specific instance of a class using the new keyword. A component is a link between a template and a class instance. The class instance can have properties and we can bind those properties to portions of our template by using string interpolation via the mustache syntax.